Whew. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just nervous for tomorrow, you know. I have a, you know, I have a semi-annual cleaning. And even though it's just a cleaning, you know, I don't know. I'm just a very nervous person, you know. I, I overthink things. I worry about, I worry easily, you know. The slightest things make me nervous. So, yeah. That's why I wanted to do this video, because I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. You know. Like I said, I know it's just a cleaning, but the thing is, like, you know, something could happen, you know, something unfavorable could happen, like, for example, being told that you're not cleaning your teeth well enough or or talking about future appointments and procedures you know that's the main reason I'm nervous plus you know it just feels weird having like someone else go in her mouth and brushing your teeth you know like when I brush my teeth, like when I when I'm like brushing my own teeth, you know, obviously it feels normal. But like to have someone else go into your mouth and it feels weird. So that's another reason why I'm nervous. And the four, and you know. Tomorrow will be my fifth appointment since moving here. I had four appointments last year, you know. On August 7th, I had like an introductory appointment, you know. That one was actually the... I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say worst, you know. That's... It was just uh, the most uncomfortable for me because, first of all, they had to do a bunch of x-rays on my teeth, you know. And you had to keep biting down, which felt uncomfortable. And sometimes the veins that you bit down on, they had, like, they kind of, they had, they kind of had, like, veins that came out from them and they kind of poked your gums and another thing that they did on August 7th was I forgot what this was this was called but oh my god it was the worst they they took this thing and they poked my gums I think they were I think I think it was called a dental probe or something where they go and poke Ugh, it was a piece of shit. They they used the probe to, I I guess it go. I think it goes like in the, in like in between your gums and then like the where your teeth come out and stuff. And when they did my two front teeth, it bled, and then I just kept just laying there shaking. Uh, oh God. <sighs> it was a nightmare. And then my and then the my second appointment which was on September 19th, I I believe. That was when that was the main appointment, you know. They cleaned my teeth. They filled in the cavities that they needed to. And then they and then I had to get I had to get a tooth pulled. You know. I was 
oh my gosh i was nervous beyond belief for that one because you know they they put me under anesthesia for it because it would have oh my gosh i would not have handled it if i wasn't under anesthesia you know i would have had to just lay there kept my mouth open you know while they were doing all that work and yeah it would not have been pretty so luckily they put me under anesthesia so you know I could be knocked out for the majority of the appointment and the of the procedure and you know I would be numb and not aware of what was going on but the part that I was nervous for was number one getting the IV because you know when I was little, I was deathly afraid of them. Like, they would make me cry. They don't make me cry anymore, you know, because it didn't even really hurt that much. Because, you know, I, I was just nervous for it because of past experiences. Because, you know, as you get older, you know, you learn how to tolerate pain better and you know things don't seem as painful as they did when you were little so yeah I was nerfed but you know, but like I said that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be and I was also nervous for like the recovery like you know I wasn't sure how smoothly or how you know how hard it would be to recover from the procedure you know was it gonna hurt how long was it gonna hurt you know when was I gonna get an infection you know just those things that we're worrying about and luckily my recovery from that was went pretty smooth you know a little a couple of days before and then like you know for a few weeks after I took some antibiotic to keep it from getting infected and it was actually it didn't it really didn't taste bad actually it actually tasted pretty pretty you know the taste was actually pretty good you know I know that's weird to say about a medicine but for antibiotic but for antibiotic it was the the taste was actually decent so yeah as for the recovery you know it went pretty smooth you know i after the appointment i just i just came straight straight home and went to bed <laughs> and then i woke up and had hash browns yeah. I mean, it was hard to eat for a couple of days, and then my teeth felt weird. You know, my mouth felt weird for a couple of days, but, you know, that was it. You know, no pain, no infections. So, that's good. And then my, and then October 7th. It was, it was, I think it was just an appointment where Dr. Huwal just, you know, he, he, he just checked my mouth to make sure everything was healing properly, which, you know, that was not a big deal at all. I was still nervous because, you know, because, because, you know, like, when you go for checkups, sometimes you are nervous and sometimes you worry, like, if the dentist will tell you that 
like you know if you have plaque on your gums or teeth or not so yeah but that one went pretty well and and then my November 19th one you know you know they had to fill in a cavity that they missed from back when they did the main procedure and back in September again no big deal he put when Dr. Goats put the local anesthetic in my mouth you know it on it all it honestly really did not hurt at all like I probably felt a slight pinch at the most and then he just filled in my cavity I just kind of laid there and daydreamed well he did it doctor in in the in 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 that and the other dentist that I had dr goats who did my who filled in the cavity back in November you know he's a really funny guy he's really laid back I like him you know and then I have this and then the one I have th this next one coming up tomorrow which is just a cleaning but I still hope that it goes well you know I hope she tells me that, you know, my my dental hygiene is adequate, if you will. And I know my, and, and, and another thing is, my grandma, you know, she's going to be the one, she's the one that takes me to and from my appointments. She's really strict about my teeth and my gums so that's another thing I'm nervous for is if you know because like, like she like likes to look at my mouth all the time and uh she, mm, so yeah I'm also nervous for that I do have there are I luckily the dentist we go to you know I I like it, you know. I like the people there, you know. They're really laid back and, you know, they're really laid back and gentle. So that's good. And I'm also glad that my dentist appointment is not on Valentine's Day because I was worried about that because I just want to, I don't, I mean, I know that dentist appointments aren't, like an all day thing, but I just wanted to, but I didn't want to have to worry about going to the dentist, you know, I just wanted to, like, I wanted to stay here, play Animal Crossing, upload my Valentine's Day tribute, and, and just celebrate Valentine's Day the way I have for the past few years, just kind of chill out, celebrate my favorite shippings get some valentines on animal crossing and all that good stuff my dentist appointment will be done and over with <sighs> and i am so relieved that it will be done that's another thing not only am i glad that it's not on valentine's day but i'm also glad that it's before valentine's day because that way it'll be done and over with and I won't have to worry about it again until and for a while, like for six months or whenever my next cleaning or or whatever is. So yeah, I just wanted to make a a little rant on the dentist because you know, they they give me anxiety and then I have one coming up tomorrow, so I just hope it goes well. As long as it goes well, 
You know, that's really all I could ask for. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.